Hi guys, hello, my name is Hope and I'm the Cedaholic. Welcome to our channel if you're new. And if you're not new, say it with us. Hello, my name is, and I'm the Cedaholic. Camera guy just won't say it and he saves more seeds than I do. He doesn't buy as many as I do, but he does save more. But I'm here today because I have yet another mail call. I got something exciting. I told you back when I did the review of the Seed Savers Exchange catalog that I joined them. And one of the things you get is this booklet, I don't know if it's quarterly, monthly, I'm not sure. It says Volume 10, Issue 1, so we'll see. A membership publication of Seed Savers Exchange. And it's got a lot of information, but the one takeaway I had that I found interesting is one of our Seed Saver members had a little bit of an issue and he needs to replant his seed collection. He, um, it says... Jeff is seeking the help of his fellow Seed Savers Exchange members to rebuild his prized pepper and tomato collection, lost in 2018 when the moving van transporting the collection caught fire. Oh, I can't imagine that. What would you do if all your seeds caught fire? I think I would cry or die on the spot. I'm not sure what, probably both knowing me. But he's missing a bunch of peppers. I will list them down below and a bunch of tomatoes. A lot of them I've never even heard of, so I'll list them down below so that if you have them, maybe you can send me a couple and I can get them to seed servers and I can get them to Jeff. Then I got another package. This one is from Yaje from Yaje's Garden. She was doing a seed giveaway, and I guess by the time she got to me, she was out of seeds. So I said, okay, you may be out of seeds, but do you have plant starts? And look what she sent me! Do you know what this is, guys? If you're from Cameroon, you probably do. Most of you probably don't. This is something she calls bitter leaf. And I'm trying to eat more bitter foods in my diets because they will help me defray this diagnosis of diabetes and vacate it, which is my goal. So, and she sent me several cuttings. So I'm gonna plant probably most of these at the allotment, but I'm gonna plan to put two here in the yard. I'm gonna pass that to camera guy. And they're still moist, so they came and arrived in very good condition. So thank you for packing them so carefully, guys. I do appreciate that. So I'm excited. And camera guy, I don't know if you heard the water go on, but he's putting them in water now. Oh my goodness, my little coffee was so hot it stuck to the glue on my little trivet. I bought this trivet at a special needs high school that's local because I... Uh, they have a little thrift store that they did in the summer last summer to help them with their programming and I like trivets and I needed some and they made them so I didn't realize the top was actually covered in glue. This is something from Baker Creek. Don't know what it is but it's something I ordered a long time ago and it's just coming in so we're going to find out together. You know um, I know they started shipping again um, a few months ago, and I haven't had a whole lot to um, order with, so let's see what this says it is. Huh. It says pre-order. I don't know what that is. I'm, I'm going to need help because I'm going to spill all those little styrofoam peanuts all over the place if I do it by myself, and I really don't want to do that. Oh, gosh, this is something I ordered a long time ago. Can you guys see that? Saffron is one of my favorite, favorite spices. And it's ridiculously expensive. And it will grow here. So I ordered these beginning of the year before they stopped um, shipping and things. And it just shipped to me. So I guess they're back open. I don't know if they're open for order or not. Because I remember ordering this in January or February, I want to say. So... 25 of them and saffron in these crocuses I will show you in the spring when they come due because they will go in the ground now so over winter for spring they're going to go on the side of my house and oh thank you he took them out so you could see what the bulbs look like and like a um garlic bulb this um root type thing here what faces down when you plant them. So I'm gonna probably, maybe I'll do it with the garlic bed because you have to hand harvest crocus because there's one 
saffron, maybe two pistols if you're lucky, three if you're blessed, per crocus. And it's a, just a very short season. Then you put them in a glass jar to keep, and you use very, very little. That's what is used to make saffron rice. And I know um, many of you who love Indian food know that saffron is very scarcely used there. Oftentimes, a lot of food that you see that looks yellow is um, colored with turmeric, which is also good. But I just like the subtlety of the flavor of saffron a little better. So I'm happy that I've gotten that. And um, again, I will list for you these peppers and tomatoes. Some of them you've heard of, like Australian lantern I'd never heard of, Virgis Locato, Wild Brazil. There's a bunch. There's probably 40 pepper varieties he would like to replace and another 40 or so tomatoes. So if you can help, send them to me, I'll send them to them. I might save a seed or two, I will be honest, just so I have them too, just because you know we all love peppers and tomatoes. And then um, we'll see if we can get his um, seed um, collection rebuilt. Um, apparently this gentleman is pretty important because someone said a quote in here in the beginning about him, and there's a whole article about him and his farm, but I thought this was an interesting quote to have said about oneself. I have never met an ecologist who is more knowledgeable and more skilled than Jeff. And that was said by Kent Wheatley, who was the Seed Savers Exchange co-founder. So if he's saying that about this guy, we need to help him, guys. And don't forget, we are looking for Adipizari squash seeds, that rare Turkish heirloom squash for Kate. So if you've got any of that or know anybody in Turkey or know anybody who has it, and can get some seeds, please, 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 just get me five. That's all I need. Kate will do the rest. So thanks for watching, and as always, happy gardening. I hope your harvests are just coming in, because mine just started. I harvested my first zucchini yesterday. I should have brought it over to show you, and I forgot. And my first full-size fennel bulb, too. But anyways, happy gardening, and blessings of bounty. And may your gardens and your lives always bring you joy, inspiration, and most of all, abundance. We'll see you guys next time. God bless. Bye-bye.